Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, December 5th, 2019 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi. Hello. And our energy mantra for today is I can trigger infinite possibilities. And today we are in our second Revolution Evolution Day of Sun in Sagittarius. So these are the days where we have some Uranus energy. Uranus loves to liberate us. And sometimes Uranus likes to liberate us by pushing those buttons. So just be very aware that you may have a trigger experience. But my feeling is with these triggers, especially in Sagittarius, is that, you know, you may have been looking at this situation that's triggering you one way, and yet if you shift, <laughs> um, there may be some information in there. There may be something positive there for you. I, I always believe that there's something positive there for you. There may be um, some freedom, expansion in there for you, like some of the premises of Sagittarius. So be very aware of that energy. So we don't have a huge amount going on today. Um, we do have a void moon for the first part of the day. We have the moon shifting into Aries at 11.44 a.m. Pacific time. Um, the last aspect of the day is actually just happening in a few hours. We're going to have moon and Pisces connect to Mercury. So you know, Piscean energy, especially void moon Pisces, it really can be foggy. It can be unclear. It's about listening to your intuition. Um, it doesn't rely so much on like 3D data. So be very aware, like up until moon shifting into Aries, you really may feel that fogginess. Um, and there may be messages coming through for you. So do listen to that. In fact, I was kind of getting from these cards that it may be, oh, I'm missing card where it is, the fogginess or like the lack of direction may actually be a little triggering today. Like guilt, the guilt card over like being in the flow, over not wanting to overdo. So just be aware of that. Then we have the moon shifting into Aries and the moon in Aries is potentially, you know, double fire energy, sun in Sagittarius, moon in fire, or moon in Aries, fiery Aries, um, can kick you into high gear. So if you do take it easy in the morning, please try not to beat yourself up over honoring your needs. That's a kind of strong message of the day. We have Venus, Venus moving through Capricorn, um, and it's at 11 degrees, that healing degree. And so Venus and Capricorn is saying like, hey, what are your self-care needs? Your self-care need may be rest. It may be putting down some of all of the to-dos that you have as we're in, you know, crazy holiday season or, you know, finishing up, finishing up the week kind of energies. So just be really aware of that uh, going on. Moon square Jupiter, after the moon moves into Aries, Aries energy squares Capricorn energy. And so Jupiter, Jupiter is still getting its bearing in the sign of Capricorn. And the moon is, to be fair, going to be still getting its bearing in the sign of Aries. Um, <laughs> I'm hearing it to the sign of, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters, but it's like Moon and Aries, what you gonna do? Like, what you gonna do, Jupiter? Take it easy on yourself. Do not pile, you know, you don't have to be Atlas, putting the world on your shoulders. What are the steps that you're being called to make? How do you honor yourself, honor your truth, honor that energy, honor whatever potential triggers are coming up? How do you show up in this? This is zero degree energy. This is a call for you to be true to yourself. Jupiter and Capricorn is freeing us from outside authority. So the authority in you is telling you what. What do you need? And that's where you need to listen to these energies. But again, you may get triggered from things outside of you. Do I have the comparison card? I don't have the comparison card. I do have the celebration card, though. The dancing in the rain. So it's like... Again, if you get triggered, celebrate it because it is trying to liberate you. It's trying to expand you and bring you a little bit more freedom. So just be very aware of that. Besides that, that's it for today. You can book a reading with me. Uh, email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. 2020 Year Ahead Readings. You know, I'm coming down to last call soon for the Eclipse Readings. Um, 
just because I have a docket of them to do and recording them and sending them out to people and only have a few more spaces available. So if you're wanting that, message me about that. Uh, holiday gift certificates also available. Besides that, moment by moment, take it easy. You have the power. Um, there's more than enough love in the world for you. And the better it gets, the better it gets. Namaste.